Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now today, I'm gonna to show you these clips first. I'm gonna work in reverse. I'm gonna show you the clips first, and then I'm gonna show you the Gigapan briefly after that, and show you where to look and what to look for. So what we have here, there, this is a recent Gigapan I'd done, and I took some clips of it. This is one of the things, the most interesting thing, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what to call this thing. It looks like some kind of, um, sculpture or monumental artwork made of stone and we have a very strange object here with a curve on the back here and we have something inside and we have what looks like an arm coming down here on the left and then we have these large fingers here three large fingers and this what looks like a, 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 a what may be a representation of a person sat with a head here and this arm sort of comes round holding it and then we've got this part coming down and we've got this weird kind of emblem in the centre here where my cursor is which is a bit like a cross with a circle okay and there's a weird part here very strange indeed this stuff I'm, doing, I'm going to flick through the edits I've got now full screen for you and show you this thing closer up here's a closer clip and here Problem is, when you get too close, it's a bit hard to focus on it, so you need to sit back a bit. But if you look here, we've got this head inside here, with a little body, with possibly an arm or something, here. But this arm, which looks a bit like a trunk, comes down here with three large fingers, here. Perhaps the thumbs round the back of this thing, holding it. Like a lot of the hands we see on Mars, um, a lot of them only got three fingers. Like Mickey Mouse, which is rather strange. A lot of them have four fingers and a thumb, but a lot of them only have three. So that's weird in itself. Here's a negative of that. And you can really see those fingers there. Just here. There's a further back clip there. Then we have this thing. Now, this is in the sort of bit further back to the left of the gigapan we have this ridge at the back and then we have this perfect stone slab here which is absolutely ruler straight and i put this in here this um line just to prove how straight it is here we are absolutely straight and in fact if you rotated this slightly you could line it up with the top of the page the edge of the page at the top here or the bottom and I guarantee you it's absolutely, almost perfectly straight. This line here. This looks like concrete or some kind of stone um, block or slab, which was probably part of a platform or structure of some sort. I don't know what exactly, but it's, it's very, very straight indeed. And it's one of the best examples of these I've ever seen on Mars. And the length of it is probably about 15 or 20 feet long. It may be 25, I don't know exactly. Here it is in context. You can see the background at the top here. The edge of the zero crater there at the top. We've got the ridge here, and at the bottom of the ridge we have this. Okay? Perfect stone slab. Absolutely ruler straight. There it is again. Now, this is that thing I just showed you at the start. I'm calling this some kind of carved or or sculptural monument or a monument sculpture representing something strange i don't really understand what it represents it's very weird but it's also very interesting and i think this is maybe part of it over here to the left okay and uh it's, it's quite a long way off and i think this is about three foot tall or something like that but i think a lot of it may be buried in this mound of sand then we have this thing this is on the ridge to the left. There's a negative of it. This looks like another gargoyle type head. Right, negative. Uh, the closer clip. There's that thing again, the, the weird monument. And you can even see in the roll clip here that you can see all that detail. You can see those fingers. You can see the little, little dude inside. And then this shape quite well, even in the roll clip. There it is again, enhanced. There is this thing, this is on the far right of the uh, Gigapan. This looks like another statue. 
And even in the roll clip here, if you look carefully where my cursor is, look in here, you can see an eye, a nose, but you can see an iris in there, just there. Okay? I'll zoom back out a bit. You can just make it out. So I'm not adding these eye details, okay? They are already there. When you add contrast and color correct it, that will stand out. Now, this is a clip of that gargoyle type thing from a different soul, which I've matched up with it because it can be seen on, in, on multiple days. This is a slightly different angle. And this is from 746. Okay, so this was taken a few days later and it's more angled to the left so we can see the front of the face better and the mouth detail better. Then there was this. This looks like part of another statue. Very strange. It's got this weird shape to the top of it here. And then a very fine nose coming down here and an eye here and one there. Okay? And this can be seen in multiple images, left and right, and on different days. These things are definitely there. If they can be seen in multiple cameras on multiple days, then they are definitely there. That's the simple fact of it. Okay? Very, very strange, but elegant, this one. Very elegant. There it is from a, a distance. Now we can see that thing again. we got the statue here. This is a straight clip from the Gigapan. We've got a weird thing to the left of it, which I can't make out. But that eye, you can see the eye here with eyelids. And the nose is all kind of eroded away. And the mouth is probably down here, possibly buried down here. Okay. And then we have that gargoyle just over to the left, here. Then there was this weird thing. Don't know what it is, it just looked weird. We got a sort of weird stone object with a kind of part, like a sleeve around the outside, like a little saucer kind of thing. I don't know what to make of it. Very odd. There were these, there are, these are just above that large slab on the Gigapan. We have what looks like another gargoyle here and another weird one here. And this one here on the left has what looks like spikes on top here. Just here, like a ridge. Very strange. Not really sure to, what to make of that. They're not very clear, these two. They're quite small. Um, this is a darker version and you can see the details slightly better. I think this is a nose on this one, this part here the mouth here with a chin and this one has got like a helmet there's the eye where my cursor is with a helmet with a ridge on the top like a crest and the sort of weird long chin sticking out here I could be wrong it may be something else that's what I'm seeing anyway there's that statue again and there's the roll clip you can see the eye in here and the nose and the mouth there there's the eye and when you look at it enhanced, that's what you get. If you just darken it a bit and uh, colour correct it, you can see the eye and the nose and the mouth. With this weird kind of headdress sticking up. Very weird. It's only really the larger things that actually show up in any detail at all. Okay, but you can see both of them there. There's that statue thing with the funny head this weird kind of shape to it, which is actually rather elegant, like I said. Here they are in context. I've got the two Gigapan clips here from 746, left and right. This is the left, that's the right. And you can clearly see them in here. If I go in, you can see those objects here on that ridge. Okay. Then we have these other weird things here, which are just above... The perfect slab. Absolutely ruler straight. And I'll put the ruler back in that I put on there. There we are. You can see how perfectly straight that edge is. Now, what's the chances of nature doing that, do you think? And it's even got like a really nice angle on the on the side here. If I zoom in, you've got a nice kind of angle to it on the edge here. 
So this looks like a, a, a large slab of stonework or concrete that was part of a structure. And in fact, all this may have been a structure here and it's now collapsed. And we're only seeing the remains of some of the foundations, perhaps. As with a lot of things on Mars, a lot of, a lot of the taller things have just been blown away. I think I made up a name for this. I think I called it Elephantus. When I first spotted it, I thought that looked like a trunk. But it's not. <laughs> it's just so weird. I really don't know what to call it. But it's obviously artificial. You can see that that is not a normal random rock. It's very straight on top, it's very flat. Nice curve on the back. It's got these details here. And then we have inside a weird sort of person here with a nose and a chin and a little eye there. This is the head, I think. I would say this is hundreds of feet away from the rover, which is why this looks small. But this thing, I think, is about three foot tall. And I think this may be part of it here. This may have gone on top or underneath it. Who knows? There is also this new gigapan that I just put up, like literally about half an hour ago. This is Sol 757. And these have literally just come in today. And uh, I frantically put this together and I, I did a double one here. I haven't even had time to search this yet, but there's loads of good, close detail in here. And I'm sure there are some weird things. There usually are on these mounds. We've got this weird rock at the top, which is like strange how it's kind of perched there like that. This may be part of something. So there was probably some kind of weird structure here. This looks like it may be the structure. I mean, this one here, I mean, look at this. The way these things are, look like they're fitted, where we have different color rocks. We got one type of rock here fitted on top of a different type of rock, which is a completely different color. That says to me that this is architecture, it's stonework, it's masonry, and uh, you got mismatching types of rock fitted fitted together. So this looks like it was part of a structure. That's a dead giveaway. So come and check these things out, as always. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the links below for all this stuff. I will see you soon.